guys. What's up? It's Derek Sims here. And it has been quite a long time since I've done a YouTube video. It's also been quite a long time since I've sat down and fully recorded something from The Sims or do a voiceover for a recording or anything to do with Sims, honestly. The past year since I last sat down and did anything for the game, um, it's been busy. Um, I had college, which I'm still a student. I just had a lot of classes coming up and I needed to take some time to focus on my education. I have also had to take time to focus on myself and I'm continuing to do that every day. But now in the mix of all that, I am in the process of moving. I have lived in Illinois my whole life and come August 1st, I will be living in a new state. I am not moving too far from where I'm at now. I'm moving to the neighboring state of Missouri and I will be transferring my job out there and I will be living with my friend. You may know him as Alex Sims. I've talked about him a while back on here and showcased him on here maybe once or twice, but he and I are going to be becoming roommates for about a year. It may be longer, but at the moment we're going to start with a year and go from there. And I think it'll be fun in the end, you know? Like, I've always wanted to have a roommate and have that roommate be a good friend and, you know, cards are falling into place, so I guess now is a good time to try it out. Um, overall, I'm excited about it. Just like I'm excited to be doing this voiceover for you guys and these videos for you, video one of three that I mentioned last week of doing. As you can see, we are creating a sim. And in honor of Pride Month and being as diverse and loving that we are to each one another in the community, I am creating a somewhat gender neutral sim here, male, but doesn't abide to appearance, if that makes any sense. Like it's a, it's a male, of course, but, you know, they don't have to stick to the male spectrum of their appearance. Like, they can be a little feminine, and that's okay. So, a couple weeks ago, I found out from Alex Sims about this new pack, Interior Decorating. And when I first heard that, I was like, oh my god, this is just like when I was younger, I've always wanted to interior decorate for people in real life but you know I don't really want to go that route now because <laughs> it'd just be awkward and I'd be like I need a million dollars and then we're gonna rip everything out and then you know I'll give you my taste I couldn't do that if it was today real life I there's no way so hearing about it for the sims i was really stoked i'm like that's something i could do on the sims hands down live my fantasy on a game <laughs> um we watched the trailer and by we i mean me and alex sims we watched the trailer together on youtube a couple weeks ago and i was honestly impressed with it and I was like, okay, I'm ready to buy it now. And then I saw the date and I was like, cool, I get to stay up till midnight to buy it. Well, midnight came around and it didn't come out. And I'm like, what the heck? So I read the footnotes of an article about it. And it's like, oh, it's coming out at noon. And I'm like, God dang it. So I stayed up till midnight on a day off when I should be asleep for nothing. <laughs> so noon came and you know I was like bye 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 so I instantly bought it and got to work and this video along with the other two videos took a total of four to five days with 
recording every other day in between because there's only so much time in a day when you can actually sit down and tolerate recording or playing, especially when I've been as busy as, you know, packing up and getting ready to move next month and cleaning and, you know, trying to make all ends meet down here, you know. Um, I will say about the game pack, I believe that from what I've seen here in Creative Sim, there's not really much options when it comes to clothing from interior stuff, interior design. I am not surprised that there's a little bit of lack of clothing, to be honest with you guys. Um, yeah. I mean, they got some nice clothes, don't get me wrong, but I kind of was hoping to have a little more. But, you know, you can only get so much out of The Sims in EA. Like, you can't expect much, you know? Like, you want this, and this, and this, and that, and all of this, and maybe a little bit of some of this, but you can only get so much to just get by, you know? So, take what you can get. And for that, we're just gonna... <laughs> we're just gonna take what we got here. So with each outfit, I've personally customized it to how I feel like this person should be in real life. And yes, that also includes, you know, not being super muscular, super skinny, super, super male, you know, like it's 2021, get with the times, guys can wear makeup, guys can be a little feminine. You know, like, not a stereotypical male. Okay? We're here for inclusivity. We are here for it. We are here for everyone being different and unique in their own way. And, you know, with, especially with Pride Month, I figure it's a good time to showcase that and hopefully pull off that look and that feel with this sim. The one thing, before I forget, I will say... I thought we'd have new aspirations and everything with the new pack. Uh, kind of let down that we don't, but it's whatever. But I saw that we now have likes and dislikes. I think that's pretty cool. The only thing I don't like about the likes and dislikes is you can only have a maximum of 20. So with each category under likes and dislikes, I had to go through and do five of each category. like two or three dislikes, two or three likes, and, you know, make it five. That part was hard because there was so much that I wanted to say, I like about this for this sim. I hate about this for this sim. You know, like, why limit us to 20? Like, it, it, if anything, it could have been maybe 30, 40, or 50. I mean, I understand if it was 50, it'd probably be all of the selections, but that'd still be great. And give us a more insightful look into the sim and what they like and don't like. Um, for the name, as you can see, I did the randomizer because I was drawing blanks as to what I wanted to name them. And plus doing the randomizer here and then is not a bad thing. So that's what we got. We got Angelo Garza. And I think he turned out pretty good. I hope. <laughs> if you guys like what I've created with Angelo Garza, he will be up in the gallery. I will hopefully have a link in the description below for him if you want to download him. I don't think he has any custom content, so it should be a go. Um, if you made it this far, thank you guys for watching, and I am so excited to be back, and I will catch you guys later. Bye!